And as I mentioned, Poipu, the town of Poipu Street in front. And the bay off to the right of that, that is Hanalei Bay. And the town of Hanalei. Have you guys been up to the North Shore? Not yet, we just got here Tuesday evening. Okay. Definitely worth the drive to come up here. Uh, and the town of Honolulu, a great little town. It's a nice laid back atmosphere there. There's, really, there's nice shops and restaurants. Beautiful stretch of beach. As, as you can see, there's really nice beaches everywhere. If you want to kind of have your pick, you can beach hop too. They're really close together. Standing all alone. They're empty. Like, there's not very many people on them at all. Calling me no. You'll find, probably find the most people on the Hanalei Beach there, but still, it's a, they're kind of closely around where the parking areas are, but in between there, there's a, still a lot of empty space. You know, uh, Lumahai here, this is a really, this is a neat beach. People hang out on one side or the other. This is where most people congregate. It's the, there's easy parking just right off the bridge there, and you got the option for the cool fresh water as well as the, the ocean water. The center of this beach, people don't really swim in the middle section. It's kind of a nasty shore break there, so people just stay to the, the sides. That, if we do have some pretty heavy rains, this um, that part by the river there, it can get a little bit dangerous because of the, the velocity of the river there. It's something to keep in mind. On the North Shore here, there's three main valleys. Uh, we've got uh, Wainiha Valley on the far right, that's the largest of them. Lumahai, just off the right side, Lumahai River down there. And then on the other side of these mountains, off our front left, is Hanalei Valley. We're going to head towards Hanalei Valley and work our way into the interior of the island. But all these valleys go straight back to the center of the island, to Mount Wally Alley. I mentioned uh, High Point is Kavakini up there, 5,243 feet. And then it's also one of the wettest places on the planet. And it receives on average about 450 inches of rain per year. They recorded as much as 678 inches of rain just in one year's time up on top. If you compare that kind of average to the town of, say the town of Hanalei over here, Hanalei is the largest place on the island perimeter. It receives about 45 to 50 inches of rain. So it's a good 400 inch difference. And uh, it's the top of Wally Alley is less than 10 miles away, straight line distance. It's been a little bit bumpy as we make our way into here. Nothing more than what we're experiencing right now. But this area here, when you're up in the uh, Princeville and Honolulu area, these mountains are the unmistakable backdrop. This is Hihimano on the left, Namalaho on the right. The big one here in the middle is Namalokama. And that's Namalokama Falls, putting it down the middle. Well, I know just who I am. And I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to be right here. Look at this way. And you notice here in this area all these dark vertical lines and the cliff falls. And Anywhere you see those on the island, that's where waterfalls come and go. Just depends on where it's raining, how heavily it's raining. But you can see it can be pretty um, active in here. Damalakama in Hawaiian means intertwining strands, which is a you know, rather poetic way of referring to these, all these waterfalls coming together. And hugging you, lady. You drive me crazy. My side is hazy. Don't be pushing, cause pushing can lead to shoving, and shoving can lead to loving you, baby.
Might get a little bumpy coming over this ridge here. As we're just crossing over into Honolulu Valley. And we're going to start working our way into the interior of the island by way of Honolulu here. There's a Honolulu River down below. The Keo Falls right off the front left. Okay, this one's for Gabby. how uh, lush and dense this foliage is. I mean, it's almost no rock that you can see. It's it's all completely covered. Um, the, from a distance, what looks like bushes and moss clinging onto these cliff walls, you can see when we get closer, actually full-size ohia trees on these steep walls. These are 30, 40 foot trees. That bright green, it's a type of fern. Very large too, that's about a 10 or 12 foot fern going out of those walls. essentially crossed over from the interior of the north side of the island to the interior of the east side. Got Lahui in the front left in the distance there. Kapa'a would be all the way to the shoreline off our left side. And this ridge line you see out in front of us, 